So you're working on an industrial design and you're gonna need some extra reliability and maybe some frequent on off switching all under some pretty rugged conditions. Where do you turn? Solid state industrial relays are the way to go, but not all relays are created equal. Even if SSRs look similar and have comparable ratings, their construction and quality can vary significantly. And that quality and construction could mean a whole lot of bad stuff happening, including fire hazards, overheating, shock, and even injury. And we certainly don't want that, do we? Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Jock Talk. Solid state technology is a great choice for industrial relays because it's reliable, fast switching, and has a silent operation with an extremely long lifespan. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Ugo Neri from Little Fuse and I explore the benefits of solid state industrial relays. We also investigate how Little Fuse's proprietary technology improves the uptimes of their SSR product lines and how you can utilize Little Fuse solid state industrial relays in your next design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Little Fuse. Hi, Hugo. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Mele. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Okay, so we're talking about solid state industrial relays today. But Hugo, before we get started, can you give us a refresher about these kinds of relays? Yes, the, the concept of the unnecessary is not very complicated to get because it's just a relay. You apply a small voltage in one side in order to control high power on the other side. With that, you will be able to turn on and off one or more components, and that's it. It's, it's very simple. The difference with other relay is that they use solid-state technology or semiconductors in order to do the work. And that's what makes them special because solid-state gives you characteristics that are different from other technologies, since you don't have anything mechanical in the inside. For example, these relay have higher reliability. They switch very fast, more than two, three times an average relay, and they are completely silent. And especially the main reason why most people use solid state is for the very, very long lifetime that they can provide, more than 10 times what an average relay can give you. Wow. So, Ugo, why are these kinds of relays a good fit for industrial applications? Yes, yeah, because in the industrial environment, you commonly will find applications that require either a very frequent on and off switching or extra reliability due to the tough conditions of the applications. Like, uh, for example, some of the people like to use them, like to start and stop some motors, for example, in flammable environments. Others use them to turn on and off uh, lights, like in very cold environments, for example, where the mechanical relays could freeze. But most of the times, in industrial environments, people will use them in applications that require precise heating, like uh, ovens, plastic machinery, packaging machinery, HVAC, basically applications where you need a heavy-duty relay that can last for a very, very long time. That makes sense. Now, we also need to consider quality here as well, right? Yes, of course. There you touch a very important subject because many people are tempted to go for the cheapest option possible there. But uh, really, we need to know that uh, not all SSRs are the same. They may look the same, even have similar ratings in catalogs, but they are not built the same way. And using low quality SSRs, that has uh, some consequences there. So what kind of complications or dangers are we talking about with or quality solid state relays. First of all, you have the safety dangers here. Many of these poor quality SSRs use uh, low rated components that causes excessive heating inside the relay that can lead to melting or even fire. Like uh, we have had cases uh, here of SSRs exploding in, the, in our testing labs where we needed to stop tests to avoid endangering of people or the building. Uh, additionally, not all SSRs have proper insulation between the components, which can expose the users to high voltages. So basically, poor quality SSRs are not something I recommend uh, using. 
Also, because besides of the safety dangers, the other main complication that you will have with these SSRs are the downtimes. Since the excessive heating that we were mentioning inside the relay may not finish on fire, but for sure it degrades the relay and causes it to fail prematurely when it was supposed to give you a long lifetime. So we have seen cases of uh, machine manufacturers getting the reputation damage because they used uh, poor quality solid state relays that cause that the machines failed in the field, leading to product return from the customers. So basically quality does matter with this type of specialized relays. What SSR solutions does LittleFuse offer for these kinds of applications and how do they address the issues you mentioned? LittleFuse has just created the SRP1 family. This is the latest in SSRs and this was specifically made to handle the high endurance questions. When you install a relay in an application, it will face stressors. For example, temperature changes in the applications, or you can have some overloads that you were not expecting. Maybe there is some aging of some of the components inside the panel. Can be also faulty connections and other things that happen. So all of these things degrade the SSR and reduce the lifespan. So the SRP1 family uses little fuse IC's technology in the inside. So high-end semiconductors that can handle better the heat produced by all these stressors. This in order to avoid the degradation and to maintain the lifetime that a high-quality SSR is supposed to have. So when tested against competitors, the SRP1 high-endurance surpasses more than two to three times in life stress cycles any other standard SSR that you can find in the market and more than seven times the low-quality SSR that you can find there. Fantastic. Now, what specific benefits are we talking about for the SRP1 series? So the SRP1 series is a general multipurpose relay. It comes in an industrial standard package known as the hockey puck. So you have also all-in-one features. You have also the reassurance of the international certifications that are proof that the product is passing the highest standards and tests. And the main benefit is what we said before, like better uptimes. Someone that uses the SRP1 family will dramatically reduce the possibility of costly disruptions, while at the same time providing the consistent performance that you need in an application, even if you have tough conditions. So what kind of different versions are offered in this series? There are three versions with this series. So you have the CV version, that is a classic bare standard option. This is for the people that need some flexibility with the relay. You have the, also the CVF version. This one comes with faston terminals that are going to be mostly used in food and beverage equipment. And you have the CR version that is the all-in-one product that you have their finger safe protection cover. You have over voltage protection on the output also. You have a thermal pad already integrated for quick and easy installation. And all of them, they control AC loads. So they are up to 50 amps and up to 600 volts with instantaneous and zero cross switching options in order to control different uh, load types. So can we talk about some examples of these relays in real world applications? Sure. These relays are mainly used in industrial process and automation applications, like for example, in industrial ovens, uh, in plastic machinery, in packaging machinery, basically places where you need to control heating elements in order to either melt some plastic or to melt some glue or to control ambient temperature for testing or for curing materials. In all of these applications, downtime is something you want to avoid. And the high endurance series comes as the best option for that. If we go to the next slide, to the 12, you can also find this type of solid state relays in HVAC applications, mainly to control resistor packs in electric heating systems or the humidification systems. Also, you find them there to control fans in refrigeration system where flammable refrigerants are being used. And if we go to the next slide, finally, in the food and beverage industry is also a place where you're going to find the use of this really because you have a lot of heating happening here in large commercial cooking ovens and warming equipment, big espresso machines, places where you need to control heating elements in order to cook food maintain the food warm or in order to boil some water. And in these cases, the reputation of the machine manufacturer is something that is important. That's why the high endurance series 
comes as the as the best option in these cases. So what if someone has specific needs or requirements? Can Little Fuse adapt or modify these SSRs to meet those? Yes, as you mentioned, some machine manufacturers have special requirements. For example, uh, someone needs a seamless production line, so they could ask you to have some accessories already attached with the SSRs, or others may have some electrical specifications outside the standard ones that it will require a small modification to the SSR. In some cases, you even have some people that have some very, very specific requirements that need a specific development made for them. So all these possibilities can be talked with little fuse in order to have a tailored solution that works for the user. And there are also other type of products in the little fuse catalog that use solid state technology, like time delay relays, control relays, and PCB type of solid state relays. So at the end, for sure, you will be able to find a solution inside the Little Fuse offering. Fantastic. Now, what would you like my audience to take away from today's Chalk Talk? Basically, that the solid state is a great specialized technology for relays that can provide you with many advantages. You just need to be wary of whom you trust in order to avoid dangers and downtimes. And if you're looking for an SSR that can give you this peace of mind, Think of the SRP1 high endurance series of uh, Little Fuse that has proven with real tests that is the best SSR out there for this task. Fantastic. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Melia. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Little Fuse. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talk section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal. <laughs>